Right, in my last video I showed how to make a simple um, adapter, a drawbar adapter for the Chinese mini lathe um, so that I can hold a, a four jaw chuck in a three jaw safely. Um, so it's got an eight millimeter drawbar through it and holds that actual uh, chuck into the other one. Um, and it has the inclusion of the handle for screw tapping. Now I wanted to do the same on the Myford ML7 but I don't want to make a whole new handle system. I want to use my existing handle and um, just uh, convert my existing um, uh, mandrel here over to 8mm. So I've drilled this one out, it was 6mm thread going through that one and now I've drilled it out to accept the 8mm threaded studding and I've made a new cone there um, to go on that one and I've increased the size of this spindle at the back here with a brass bush um, that's so that when the handle goes on it doesn't actually clash with the locking nut at the back So I've set the foot up, ready to drill both of my handles out and this is the exact size I need of drill for that. Um, what I've got in the tailstock here is a 2MT taper um, with the foot thread on the end. So you can actually just put that into the tailstock and screw any of your ML7 chucks onto that. And they're relatively cheap to buy, um, but they're a very good handy tool to have. Um, I've used it several times. I can't actually put this on a face plate because of the angle and the length of it. Even with the handle taken off there, it would actually clash with the ways. So that this is the only way I can actually drill with this um, big drill. And I'll show you the taper thread adapter later in the video. Um, like I said, it's really worth having one of these. It increases the um, versatility of the machine, um, like difficult work like this. Um, like I said, I haven't got a um, milling machine. I only have a small bench drill, so that this is the only way I could actually bore this out. See that I've put my guard over the ways here and um, that's just to protect the ways just in case the drill snatched the work and pulled the handle onto it. plastic insert at the back of the handle. about it. You've got to support the um, chuck um, when you're moving it back on the tailstock because it's um, obviously heavy and will lift the tailstock up at the back.
and that's that one done. So this is my other handle which I'm going to do the same. And to hold the um, drill in the jaws there, I just used my um, extended um, 2 mt taper. So it's parallel along there to hold on the jaws. Or you can get, just get these on their own without the tape on the back. And that's the tool there, two empty taper and the um, MyFord spindle thread. And you can get them on eBay from companies like RDG, um, Kronos or whatever. So now on the MyFord I can use my ordinary expanding man drawer in the back here with the quick release handle just as normal with the expanding mandrel inside or I can take that one out now and then take the cone assembly out put it back in the lathe And then I can put my fore jaw with the draw bar down through or any other chuck or whatever with the draw bar. And put a nut on the back there. And that one makes it perfectly safe to use the four jaw in the three jaw chuck. Plus again, I have the use of the quick release handle for any tapping work.
And like I showed this on the uh, mini lathe, I found this is an absolutely great method if you've got a one-off component, um, which you quickly want to do in the four-jaw chuck, just mount this up in the three-jaw. It saves having to take chucks off and clean them up. And like I said, it saves you a lot of time. And having the drawbar makes it perfectly safe.